Modern diets have increasingly replaced minimally processed foods and freshly prepared meals with ultra-processed counterparts, factory-made formulations containing little, if any, intact food. And the switch has ushered in a decline in human health across the world. Classifying foods based on their level of processing may provide a useful reference for those working in the field. A newly published special edition of the journal Public Health Nutrition looks at the role and utility of the most widely used classification system, known as the NOVA system. First described in 2009, the NOVA system defines four tiers of food processing, ranging from unprocessed to ultra-processed. The special issue describes a wide range of questions that the NOVA system has been used to address. One focus is on the global dominance of ultra-processed foods and their link to public health, Population nutrition monitoring has revealed that increased consumption of these foods leads to poorer nutritional intake and reduced dietary quality. Evidence on the connection between eating ultra-processed foods and the occurrence of risk factors for chronic conditions has also been strengthened and extended to new populations. Several reports in the issue address the legislative applications of food processing-based classification. At the national level, Public policymakers can use the NOVA system to help define unhealthy eating patterns when adopting regulatory strategies aimed at disease prevention. At the local level, civil planners can use the definitions to ensure stores provide access to specific food categories, such as unprocessed or minimally processed foods. There are also articles examining new trends in product formulation that are meant to entice customers. One popular approach is to swap ingredients classically recognized as unhealthy to so-called healthier alternatives, low-fat hot dogs, for example. Such foods are meant to conjure feelings of healthy eating in the consumer, but research shows that these items are likely no healthier and are often more expensive than unprocessed alternatives. As the consumption of industrialized food has become a major factor in nutrition-related health outcomes worldwide, an easily adoptable method to promote healthy eating and identify foods requiring regulatory control has become an essential need. The research presented in this special edition of Public Health Nutrition supports the usefulness of the NOVA system in filling this role.